Hey, hey, what's up? It is Clary Berry, and we are here with the Cardano horoscope. And if you've seen the Bitcoin one, this one might be a little bit better. In fact, out of the uh, out of the three, the big three here, I definitely think that it's going to be more Cardano's week than anybody else. Um, probably Bitcoin in the last place there um, and ethereum coming in second at least ethereum has a couple of aspects all of bitcoin's aspects were at the beginning of the week and we do have some action here at the beginning of the week for cardano again not financial advice this is fun astrology intuition you can use this to and tarot of course i use tarot behind the scenes now um, you can use these to help you um you know dollar cost average in buy the dips and hodl it's a relative day-to-day change and movement i'm not giving exact prices but we give the general energy of the day and you can use it to help you if you are smart so again not financial advice on the 31st pluto this bigger aspect pluto in conjunct venus this of course is a plutonian aspect there's going to be changes it's going to be difficulties it's going to be strainings i think there's also kind of limits um initially i drew it like this but i think it'll be more like I think this is my final answer if I had to say. <laughs> Maybe not quite so straight up, but that's kind of, you know, up and over if it even goes up at all, honestly. Um, it could be down and over just because this is, well, you know what? It might be sideways and up. It's just like a little bit hard to tell. Maybe just going sideways. That's the only thing that's constant there. But there are some changes. You know, I think we might have some ups, some downs and you know really not doing a whole lot just because it's so limited it's so strained and it's kind of like this is just part of a bigger change again when you have big changes when you're trying to bust through the status quo that's kind of the theme of this week we're still early we're still very much in early adoption and it's just too weird for people um so yeah on the first guys nothing peaking might have a little bit of good energy left over and then just kind of fizzle out um there on the first the second i think we might i don't know you know why exactly the tarot thinks it might go up and then down a little bit um and then completely sideways on the third and the fourth though is when we actually have some action and we've got jupiter opposite mars so with this is an overextended type of an energy very driven but could be too much too hot burns right off all the fuel burns it right off but then that's one aspect then we've got mars trine um mars so this could be a good jump start it's a good um hey look at me i'm shining all by myself i'm doing this but also it's kind of um again there's the potential for a peak too much burning too brightly but i think the fact that it's a trine it's going to kind of slow it down so i think instead of coming back down you know, this is if we went off this aspect alone that's what that would be and then our last aspect guys three aspects in one day mars trine uranus kind of another maybe more lazy sort of energy but also bullish and positive so i think overall might be end up looking more kind of like this okay kind of up and over a little bit there okay so that's the fourth the fifth another aspect yay sun sextile saturn so this is a good start again this is long term bullish um, but this is doing some work it is applying itself and getting some things done even if it's you know somewhat limited from saturn energy and it's a little bit more just planning and real long term bullish energy there okay so the outlook will be different by that point than it is here at the beginning of the week, um, entering into the beginning of the week at least. Now, on the 6th, we've got Jupiter uh, opposite Mars. So again, the planning energy for this, the long-term bullish energy is here. It is good. There is, okay, this is like one of those days where it could go well um, or, you know, it, it might have some issues. And I think if it does well, you know, there's the potential for it to come right back down with a peak. But... I actually think it'll kind of do more of like this slow rise and then maybe start to go up a little higher. I think that's kind of how it's going to be. Um, again, it's it's iffy. It could it really could go either way. So seventh and eighth, not a lot. I'll tell you the tenth should be a pretty good day. Um, same thing kind of for Ethereum. I don't want to spoil the video, but 
it's pretty uh, pretty low key. Not a lot happening. I would say on the 31st, since I won't get it done today, we'll talk about the 31st and the 1st. Let's see, no aspects, um, just for Ethereum. Um, yeah, it might, it might go kind of down here. And then, yeah, it's like, again, kind of long-term good. It, it, it's, it's potential is there, but there's gonna be, you know, some issues and then some more issues. So um, on the first, we'll probably have it done by then, but just for fun and a little extra bonus. Okay, so yeah, again, this the first, and again, we'll talk about this, but I think that, you know, it's kind of stable, but a little bit down, and then it's gonna be down <laughs> some more, um, and it may be a little bit bigger of a way. But um, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please, um, thank you for all the, please, thank you, please, and thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, subscribes, etc. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.